So we've all been told by our parents and the world at large that you just can't make money with music. So don't even bother trying. Don't go to music school. Don't be in that band. Don't start that YouTube channel. You're just wasting your time. You'll never make any money at it. Well, my name is Eric and I have made music my business for over 20 years. Many of those have been six figure years for my company and I have made music incomes as a music consultant, a music producer, a music artist, a composer, an arranger, a music performer, an author, a songwriter, a recording studio, a music teacher, a lecturer, and a church music leader. These have all contributed to a music life that everyone wonders, wow, that's amazing. You can do music for a living? Well, it's really not amazing. It's just my job. This channel and this video is all about how to make music income no matter what your specialty is, no matter what your talents are, no matter where you come from, and no matter what limitations you have. None of that matters. You can make music income now, and that's what this channel is about. So let's get right to some of the things we'll be talking about on this channel to make music income, whether you are an artist, a composer, a producer, a songwriter, or all of these. First, let's talk about music for film, TV, and advertising, or what we call sync licensing. This is music that is not about you. That's usually a showstopper right there, as most people who create music are pretty interested in being recognized in some way for their talents. But in fact, if you are successful in music licensing for TV, film, ads, video games, etc., likely no one will know your name or your face. This is music you created that is really for the use of another creative product. Now, can you as an artist or band get your song into sync opportunities? Of course. But this is mainly creating music that can be used for someone else's needs than just yours music behind a television show, or behind a movie, or for some kind of advertisement, or for a video game. The funny part is, this is likely the most lucrative part of the music industry today. It's also just as full of gatekeepers and tastemakers as any other part of music. In sync licensing, your goal is getting your music heard and accepted by the people who are looking for music for a particular use. The problem is, these people usually have very specific needs, and you like to make the music you like to make. We'll be talking a lot about sync licensing on this channel, so make sure and subscribe to see upcoming videos that not only talk about sync licensing, but also videos that can hook you up with top people and sites that can help you make music income in this area. Another thing we'll be talking about on this channel is stock music licensing. Now this is similar and maybe the redheaded stepchild of the music licensing world, but as you will find the more you research it, there is money to be made right now for your music in royalty-free libraries like Pond5, Audio Jungle, Motion Array, and many more. At first you may think, hey, I see people selling their songs for $50 or less on these libraries. Remember, they aren't selling anything. They are allowing the use for what the client wants to use it for. And you need to know you'll be lucky to get half of what the selling price is, but still, 20 bucks a song? How much exactly are you making on those Spotify listens again? 0.004 cents? At that rate, it would take 5,000 streams to make $20. As I mentioned before, it's a great place for your back catalog. Maybe as an artist or producer, you have productions you made years ago that are pretty good, but have long since passed their promotion days. They're sitting there on streaming sites or CDs in your garage or even just on a hard drive somewhere. Why not get those songs in dozens of stock music libraries where people can find them and use them? You could literally be sitting on future income by not doing more with those songs. And stock music licensing is a great way to make music income. Each library is different, so we'll be reviewing them on this channel. So make sure to subscribe as we talk about each of those. Another thing we'll be talking about on this channel is being a music artist. This is the oldest way to make music income with your musical talents. Get paid to perform, have product and other merch you can sell at your table. Yep, people still do this. It's worked for hundreds of years and it's still viable today. The very best part of doing this is you actually get to see what effect your music is having on people. This isn't just licensing your music and no one knows it's from you. This is some place you really get to perform and reach people, whatever the purpose of your music is. 
Now, can everybody do this? Well, technically, yes. But truthfully, only about 5% of people I meet and work with actually get out there and perform regularly. Why? Well, it's just hard to find places to go and sing. Festivals and fairs are always possibilities, but these rarely pay or offer space for tables. Clubs exist for almost every style of music, but finding them and booking them yourself is a lot of work. Still, if you can go somewhere and get paid to be there and entertain, and then you can sell product on your table, this remains a very lucrative, consistent income that many artists live on and support their families with. There are two main incomes in touring. First, the fee paid for performing, often called the appearance or booking fee. And two, money made selling product and merch, which can sometimes be more than what you make for your appearance. Now, are either of these guaranteed amounts at gigs? No, of course not. But touring artists will tell you that it does even out after a good number of gigs. Still today, our artists that physically tour find the most success and income to support themselves or bring in significant side income. We'll be talking a lot about artists and people who work with artists and reviewing sites that say they help artists. And so make sure you subscribe to see upcoming videos on how to make music income as an artist. And if you are an artist that needs help right now, check out our production and consulting company in the description below. So you say you don't know how you would tour with your family and your job and other things. Luckily, there is another solution for reaching a large audience and you don't even have to leave your house. It's called the internet. Now, the term YouTuber or online artist might be foreign to you, but you've likely already watched thousands of artist YouTubes or TikToks or videos on Instagram or Facebook, and you know that being an artist online is very popular. The idea is pretty simple. Make videos with your phone or otherwise and show the world your music via YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and any place else you can post it. If you build strong channels and commit to posting regularly, especially if you can build a strong YouTube channel and following, this can be an answer to make music income. You've all heard the stories of YouTubers making millions and it's not a myth. There are people who make six figures easily due to YouTube ad sales, sponsorships, affiliate sales, and product sales because of the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of followers they have in their niche. We will talk a lot on this channel about making money online and talk to those who are successful doing it. So make sure and subscribe now for those upcoming videos. So some of you are saying, hey, I just want to be a songwriter. I don't need a big audience with gigs online or whatever. All I want is a music publishing deal. Yeah, you and the rest of us, but let's talk about music publishing. So you write great songs and maybe sometimes perform them, but you just like to make recordings of them and pitch them for other artists to sing. How do you do this? Now, this is something I get asked about every day. Unfortunately, it's pretty hard to do. For one thing, most artists these days, especially artists that publishers work with and for at labels, already write their own music or have trusted writers and producers who write it for them or with them. The other issue is, sure, we could walk you into a major label and get you pitching to a publisher, but that publisher already has 10 people downstairs right now or around the music town they are based in writing that day specifically for the projects that the publisher is looking for. So your music has to be beyond good to make it through. Can it happen? Of course. Can a publisher or an A&R person see or hear an artist and flip out? Yeah, sure, it still happens. But it's a 1% of 1% of people it happens to. It's winning the lottery, and the lottery probably has better odds because it's not based on talent or taste. So what's the process for this? Well, it's not something that has really changed in the last century. You make great demos of your songs, you find a publisher that publishes similar songs, and you try and get the songs to them. Now the days of sending a cassette or CD in the mail are likely over. And most publishers don't want to get or have time to listen to MP3s attached to emails. And many don't even accept unsolicited emails from writers they don't know. We'll be talking about music publishing a lot on this channel, as well as interviewing actual music publishers to give you the skinny on what they are looking for and how they see you, the songwriter. So subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos for how you can make music income with music publishing. Lastly, let's talk about music production. Now, if you are a music producer or you produce music with your DAW or you are a 
composer slash producer or whatever, you're super in luck because you can make music income on all of these things that we are talking about. From TV and film and advertising to stock music licensing to working with artists in the studio, every one of these things needs a music producer. And I know this because this is something I have done for the last 25 years. And it really helps me to be able to produce all the music needed for the licensing projects I have, for the stock music libraries I feed, for my clients, for songwriters, and all of it makes consistent income when some other income streams don't. So we'll naturally be talking about music production as a way to make music income as we talk about all these things on this channel. So make sure that you subscribe. Okay, so that's a lot, but there are so many ways to make music income that we have to stop somewhere. We'll have video reviews on websites that are out there that say they can help you make music income. We'll have video conversations with people who make music income now and find out how they did it. Any way that we know or someone else knows to make music income, that's what we'll be getting into on this channel. So subscribe, hit the bell to know when we put out new videos and make our content part of your music education. And let's all make music income together. Thanks for watching.